this video we're going to be tackling radian measures or the measurement of radians um, really so up until now when we look at let's say a circle and say that's the center of a circle and we have this to here usually when we measure from one side or one arm to the next we measure the angle between these two and say that this is theta in terms of degrees so let's say this is r the radius of the circle theta being the um the measurement that we're looking for and then we say that this this measurement right here from here all the way to this line that is equal to a so this is where we introduce a radian so a radian by definition is the size of an angle that is substantive at the center of a circle by an arc with a length that is equal to its radius. So, um, another thing to note is the arc that we have here, this arc and the radius are both measured in the units of length so it could be centimeters meters millimeters whatever it is but basically a has to be equal to r and that way theta is equal to a over r theta is equal to one because they're equal to each other so that is how basically a brief intro to what a radian is so understand that theta is equal to 1 1 radian when a and r are the same so let's see in the circle remember a circle is 360 degrees. Say we have a circle with 360 degrees and we have R here. And that's 360 degrees. And A is equal to the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi R. So, by that definition, theta, which is equal to A over R, cancel out theta sorry we're left with 2 pi so theta is equal to 2 pi radians when it comes to a circle so Understanding thus far, 360 degrees. We know that based on this being true for this, and also 360 degrees is also true for a circle, we can say that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians, which means that. In radians, pi is equal to 180 degrees. And that is how we measure that. So, 
stress enough how important this is to understand that one radian is equal to a 280 degrees divided by pi. This is going to be very useful to you when you need to switch between um, you know, or if you want to remember this, pi rads equal 180 degrees. Just remember this, memorize it, and it'll be very useful for you when you want to convert from one to the other. So, speaking of converting, let's tackle that right now. Let me just write that here. 180 degrees. So let's try converting 20 degrees into radians. So if we have um, pi red rates, let me just write up the whole thing so we don't get confused. Radians.
it's 150 degrees. video.